In Malaysia, we live in a tropical country, and that means you have two types of weather. You have hot and rainy, and hot and rainy year. And in some parts of the country, it gets, the rains get really bad, that people every year have to be evacuated into relief centres. Every single year this happens. Malamnya tu kami malam 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 Jumaat ah malam Jumaat kami sedang sedang membuat mesyuarat tentang kebanjir di kampung hujan di sini memang daripada petang tu sehingga pagi jadi bukan di sini saja. Tik Siti dia akan potong disebabkan satu transformer sana besar. Hampir-hampir satu kaki lagi kena, kena, air. kena air lah. Kalau ini satu kaki kena air, mana penduduk di sini yang meter dia nak akan kena. Jadi dia akan cut dia punya hantu lah. Current, jadi current tidak ada masa itu dalam dua hari. Dua hari tak ada elektrik, air pun tidak ada. Ha, macam tu putus. Macam tak ada air lah, tak ada macam air kampung tidak ada. Kita han, nak berhubung tidak dapat. Misal kata handphone kita tidak lobet daripada jabat-jabat kerajaan, call saya memang tidak dapat diterima. During a time of crisis, it's even more important. Um, you need to tell people you're okay. Between rescue operations, uh, relief centres, lots and lots of stuff need to be coordinated and lives are at stake. So communications is even more important in those days. And at the relief centres, they distributed food, blankets and all that stuff. Just as important as food and blankets is keeping communications on. What if we could combine the act of cooking your food with the act of leaving your communications on? And that is the SOS pod idea. It's the idea of taking one type of energy and changing it into another type of energy. I think we all realise these days that these things have become our lifelines and it's our job as a telco to make sure we do everything possible to keep those lifelines open. <laughs>